वेलकम टू द पार्ट वन ऑफ द फाइव पार्ट सीरीज वेर एम गोना वॉक यू थ्रू टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रोमिंग हिम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वे गोइंग टू लुक हाउ आई हैव ग्रोम द बियड एज यू कैन सी एम यूजिंग थ्री पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट जीरो एल्फा एंड लेट्स एक्चुअली गेट स्टार्टेड सो द वे आई हैव ग्रोम द बियड इज वेटी सिंपल आई हैव एडिड हेयर वन बाय वन नॉट ऑल ऑफ दैम ऑब्वियसली but i have added here one by one and then groomed them one by one so that they could act as parent hairs and when i'll have enough parent hairs uh, i can just add multiple children hairs and those children hairs are just going to follow the parent hairs so that way i don't have to groom all the hairs simultaneously and that actually made the job a bit easier in my opinion you obviously can just experiment with how you like to groom but that's how I've groomed it, and yeah, that's basically how I've did it. I'm just going to change it to strand, as you can see that the thickness of the hair were way too much. Also, I don't really liked to add the hair node right now, hair thickness node right now. I have no idea why. I could have just added the hair thickness node because I'm just going to do that later anyway. But it's okay. You can just work in the strand mode for now. I am also going to add a material to the hair so that they would be easier to look at visually. I don't know I I think they were looking pretty fine previously as well but you know we actually like colors in our life so why not just add to the curves as well. Now I'll just comb them and you might actually be thinking why not adding multiple of them because it's just chaos and yeah I don't really like chaos in my life so I'm just going to add these comb them one by one just going to do it until I have enough of these parent hairs one tip that I actually like to share is if you were to select a point uh the if you were to select a curve sorry and press alt a for that would do is that would just deselect every single curve and if you were to add another curve that curve is going to be the only one that is selected that is going to be the active one basically and you can just comb them without having to worry about changing any other hair so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just pressing alt a and then combing the hair that i've just added you can also see that only that hair is being a bit highlighted a bit light which obviously shows that this is the only active one i'm just going to repeat the process now just going to add them one by one there isn't really anything for me to explain so i'm just going to speed up the video a bit because i don't really feel like that there is anything for me to explain to you can just see what i'm doing even the even in the speed of video you can just see what i'm doing Uh, at this point i feel like that i have enough of the parent hairs so i'm just adding the multiple hairs and as you can see they are following the parent hairs so yeah the workflow have worked that's basically why i have added those parent hairs now you can see that i don't really have to groom all of these together and they are following the parent hairs pretty nicely there is one problem that you can see though that when i have added this uh, they are not equally dense uh, in every area so i'm going to have to use the density brush in order to fix that i'm going to try equalizing the density everywhere on the surface so yeah that's basically what i'm doing i'm just going to set this on to the auto mode because the adding and then subtracting is not working so i think the auto mode is i think auto mode is actually the best one it just adds and subtracts automatically you don't really have to worry about adding or subtracting manually so yeah just use that now obviously for different circumstances you might have to switch between adding or subtracting but most of the time i think you only need the auto brush that's what i feel like but obviously because of the different situation you might have to switch to another Now I wanna add a noise modifier. Basically, noise geometry node that is going to be a modifier. So I'm gonna just go to 
Aaron here dot blend file and I'll just import some of these noise here, hair thickness, hair deform, randomizes length. No trees, I'm going to append them. I'm just going to play around with the settings to see which one is going to work for me. Mm, now these settings might obviously not work for you because uh, you might want a different kind of look than me so obviously playing around them is i think a better way to see which settings work for you and that's what i'm gonna do for next few minutes i'm just going to play around with these settings to see which one is working and which one is not Okay, now I am decreasing the density a bit so that I could visualize the hair a bit better. I'm just going to increase the density later because I like to see how the hair noise is basically acting on the hairs. And now that I have decreased the density a bit, I'm just going to start deleting these excess hair that you can see are growing. And I, all, I obviously like the beard to be pretty nice looking i don't want the beard to be looking like that someone is just not really caring about the beard okay now that i've decreased the density i'm just gonna trim down the beard from the cheeks because they are looking kind of uneven right now and and give it a really nice looking shape Okay, now I am going to add the hair randomized length modifier. Cool thing about this hair randomized length is you would not have been able to do it previously, but you can also just increase the length of these hairs. You don't just have to decrease it. You can you can just increase it as well. You can just increase the minimum value and increase the maximum value and you can just increase the length of the hair overall but right now i'm not doing that i don't really need to do that but i'm just telling you just in case if you need to do that okay now what i'm gonna do i'm going to disable the noise modifier so that i could see the hairs in their original form and i'm going to select few of them and i'm gonna try to pinch them to basically create the illusion of clumping it is basically hard to see which one of these points are selected so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just try to fiddle with the color if giving it a color actually helps and it does helps a bit but yep it isn't really helping that much so i'm just going to change the curve shape to the strip and now you can see clearly that the selected one is highlighted so i'm just going to add the hair thickness node right now and now you can clearly see which one of these curves are selected so i'm just going to desaturate the color again again this is a pretty repetitive process so yeah for the next few minutes that's what i'm gonna do i'm just going to select few of these clump them give them a shape also enabling the noise modifier to see how they are actually looking after the noise is enabled and fixing them with the modifier enabled i'm just clumping them giving them a bit of directionality giving them a bit of shape so that all of these here does not look even uh, they look kind of natural and these variation obviously help us to make the beard look natural and yeah just clumping them clumping means pinching them obviously pinching them smoothing them giving them directionality is what i'm doing now i'm just increasing the tension
density randomly where I feel like that it actually needs a bit more density I'm just giving them density a bit randomly cause of obviously to make them look natural I am saying natural word a lot but that's I I don't know why I'm saying natural a lot but yeah that's I mean increasing the density randomly is gonna help the beard look better okay now I'm again at the edges trying to decrease the density a bit so that they look like that they're just starting to grow there and have less hairs basically Okay, that's with the beard guys. I'm gonna see you in the part 2 of this series of Bully where I'm going to make a mustache and soul patch. So yeah, see you soon. Thank you and sayonara.